Hello, my dear students. Welcome to my today's online class on one more topic. In the paper, Genetics and Biotechnology, that is paper 6 of Zoology, prescribed by Bangalore City University and me, Dr. Meera BK, Associate Professor, Department of Zoology, Maharani Science College for Women, Palace Road, Bangalore 1. I have selected Numerical Aneuploidy, Down Syndrome and Cryochat Syndrome for today's lecture. This happens to be session 17 in Genetics Part 2. And once again, I shall be failing in my duties if I don't thank my dear good friend and colleague Dr. Latabi who created all these quality PPTs for you people and uh, I am just giving the voice that's all okay uh, we shall start the class now so you can see here the karyotype you know 22 pairs of autosomes and uh, one X chromosome and one Y chromosome allosome. So looking at the carrier type, you can conclude the following things. This happens to be the carrier type of a human being and a male human being, right? There are 22 pairs of autosomes, right from chromosome pair 1 to 22. There is one X chromosome and there is one Y chromosome telling you that this is the karyotype of a typical male of the homo sapien, right? And uh, this being the normal karyotype, what happens if there is change in this karyotype? If there is addition of one chromosome or deletion of one chromosome or addition of part of the chromosome or deletion of part of the chromosome, what are the repercussions? that we are going to discuss today. Uh, this topic happens to be a topic in human medical genetics. Very interesting topic. And uh, students, if you are interested in knowing more about this, there is a separate human genetics department in St. John's Medical College, Bangalore, Koramangala. You can just once visit there and talk to the professors there. Okay. Let me give you the information what is needed for you to write the exam and little more, all right? Now, so what are the learning objectives? You will learn about the concept of aneuploidy and its impact on the phenotype of an individual. And you will also understand the types of chromosomal aberrations in human disorders and find out the causes and consequences of chromosomal aberrations, okay? So, the learning outcomes, once we are done with this chapter, you would have learned the aneuploidy and its impact on phenotype, and you would have understood about chromosomal disorders and their role in chromosomal aberrations and their role in human disorders and whatnot. Now, so I have divided the contents of my lecture like this. I will just brief you about aneuploidy, what exactly it is, numerical and structural, both. Then I will talk about the Down syndrome, reason, clinical manifestations and treatment. And then one more syndrome that is Crydochat syndrome also called 5P minus syndrome. So that is the quota for our talk today. Now, so what are chromosomal rearrangements? See the chromosome rearrangements alter the structure of chromosomes. For example, 
A piece of chromosome might be duplicated when it is called duplication. It may be deleted, removed when it is called deletion. Or it may be seated in an inverted condition that is ulta, okay, when it is called inversion, alright. So this is, these are the three things that normally you come across when you are talking about chromosomal rearrangements. And then what are aneuploids? The number of chromosomes is altered. In the first plate I have shown you the normal karyotype where you see the number of chromosomes being 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of allosome. Now, here what happens is one or more individual chromosomes are added or deleted. Say for example, chromosome number 21. Instead of having two chromosomes, one from paternal side and one from maternal side, you will see three. Okay? Or you will see one. So then when there is a change in the number of individual chromosomes, you call it as aneuploidy. And if you find one or more complete sets of chromosomes being altered, you call it polyploidy. Normal condition is diploidy in somatic cells, haploidy in gametic cells, then 3N, 4N, that is triploidy, tetraploidy, hexaploidy, that is all cases of polyploids, okay. This is background information before getting into Down syndrome and Cryduchat syndrome. Then what are the types of chromosomal abnormality? Numerical aneuploidy, you will have monosomy, trisomy and tetrasomy. Monosomy, single being present, single chromosome. Trisomy 3, right? Tetrasomy 4, like that. Polyploidy means entire set being multiplied, either like triplo triploidy or tetraploidy, as against diploidy. Then coming to the structural aberrations, you can have either deletions, that is removal of part of chromosome, or insertion, you know, addition of, uh, in introduction of a part of chromosome or inversion, same chromosomal piece being present, being presented in an opposite direction or duplication, doubling of the part of chromosome, right? So these are all the different types of chromosomal aberrations that you come across when you are studying about aneuploidy, okay? Then, so offsprings with apparent chromosomal complements, you know, they lead to significant phenotypic variation from normal individuals. When they have anomalies like this, they will not be normal. They don't look normal. They are, their phenotype will be totally different as I am going to show you in next coming plates. And such individuals are called Children with syndromes, okay, syndromes, exactly, we mean Lakshana Valigalu, uh, they are not normal and what are the typical features, phenotypic features, changes in phenotypic features they show and we say they are the phenotypes with syndromes. So as per our syllabus, we are studying two syndrome, Crydo cat syndrome and the down syndrome okay now so this is the plate showing you the meiosis meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 and the formation of gametes uh, you can see in the diagram a non disjunction of homologous chromosomes in meiosis 1 you can concentrate on the upper one third of the slide and in b that is uh, there, there is no non-disjunction in meiosis 1, you can see there. And then, when it comes to meiosis 2, it is normal in chromosome A, I mean diagram A. And in B, you can see non-disjunction of sister chromatids in meiosis 2. When they don't separate, you know, they move together. That's what I meant by non-disjunction, which is basically the reason for most of the types of aberrations, alright. 
and then you can see the formation of gametes as a result of non disjunction in meiosis 1 in diagram a and non disjunction of um, sister chromatids in meiosis 2 in the diagram b what are the outcomes in the first case you know out of the four gametes formed one is n plus 1 two are n plus 1 and two are n minus 1 this is basically due to non disjunction of the chromosomes they don't move apart they move together and then in diagram b you can see non disjunction taking place at the stage of meiosis 2 and uh, as a result you know one gamete will be n plus 1 one gamete will be n minus 1 and the other two gametes will be n normal so Whatever non-disjunction happens either in first meiotic stage or second meiotic stage, it is reflected in the formation of abnormal gametes resulting in all possible syndromes when they are involved in the process of fertilization. Alright? Okay. Then, let us talk about numerical aneuploidy. I am talking about autosomal aneuploidy in this video. There is a separate video, you know, for allosomal aneuploidy. So, autosomal aneuploidy means the addition or deletion in autosomal pairs. Allosomal aneuploidy means addition or deletion in sex chromosomes. Okay. You have to study Down syndrome and Kreidichat syndrome. Okay. Down syndrome for autosomal aneuploidy. Kreidovchak syndrome for structural aneuploidy and then you have to study Turner syndrome and Kleinefelter syndrome for allosomal aneuploidy. So for allosomal aneuploidy there is a separate video which has been already uploaded in your LMS okay and now let us talk about let us know more about Down syndrome and Kreidovchak syndrome. You can see here the baby, you know, certainly they are not normal. You know, a, down, a baby with Down syndrome appears like this. Look at the face, look at the eye, look at the nose, look at the mouth, look at the palm, right? Look at the sole of the foot. They don't look normal in all these features. All right. Then Down syndrome is because of uh, trisomy of uh, chromosome number 21. I told you normally you find a pair of chromosomes, autosomes, one from paternal side and maternal side. So in chromosome number 21, if you find three chromosomes instead of two, how it happens? I have told you it happens because of non-disjunction. All right, during meiosis and formation of gametes. So if there are three chromosomes, you call it, I mean such children will look like the plate what you have shown, what I have shown. And uh, we say that such a phenotype is with syndrome and it is called Down syndrome because it was discovered by the scientist Down. Now, this is an autosomal numerical aneuploidy. Autosomal because the autosomes are involved in the formation of the syndrome. Numerical because there is increase in the number of chromosome. So Down syndrome is basically an autosomal numerical aneuploidy case. Presence of an extra chromosome results in trisomy. Instead of two, if they are three, you call it trisomy. This is caused by failure of separation of one of the pairs of homologous chromosomes during anaphase of meiosis 1. And uh, this can be caused by non disjunction occurring during meiosis 2 when a pair of sister chromatids fail to separate. So, these are the causes resulting in trisomy. Then, this is the karyotype of a child suffering from Down syndrome. You can just concentrate on the chromosomal set 21. Normally you should find 2. 
but here you are finding 3 that is trisomy of chromosome number 21 resulting in a phenotype with syndrome right and that syndrome is called down syndrome but for that all chromosomes are normal so this is the karyotype of a child with down syndrome showing you the trisomy of chromosome number 21 all right then what are the common physical changes market changes in the phenotype of a child with the down syndrome decreased muscular tone at birth then excess skin at the nape of the neck you can see the neck then flattened nose chapte mogu then upward slanting eyes then small ears small mouth wide short hands with short fingers then single crease in the palm of the hand white spots on the colored part of the eye okay so these are the physical signs or the symptoms that makes the child look abnormal the moment you see all this you know you can send the sample of the child for karyotype preparation and if you see the chromosome number 21 being present in three copies you can conclude that the child has down syndrome right then relatively late development of the teeth then teeth in different sequence and positions they are round they are sharper irregular like that then narrow maxilla large tongue breathing through the mouth okay oral breathing not pulmonary not nasal breathing and then most market symptom what you see is mental retardation they will not be normal their mental age will not be normal okay then diagnosis down syndrome may be suspected in pregnancy when the pregnant goes for ultrasound scan you know that sonogram if a radiologist observes the sonogram you know he can definitely say the child has down syndrome or it can be confirmed by prenatal testing you can just draw the chorionic villus sample or you can subject the amniotic fluid for a test called amniocentesis and uh, you can take the cells from the unborn baby send it for laboratories for chromosomal analysis and you can prepare the karyotype and you can see and uh, however final diagnosis is, will be confirmed by karyotyping and if you do this prenatal test and uh, if the doctor comes to know about that the baby which is going to born right has some syndrome and it will now it is not going to be a normal baby normally the doctors or the obgs gynecologists obstetricians they recommend the pregnant to undergo miscarriage or abortion so that to prevent the birth of a baby with different syndromes right so this is how it is possible uh, for to do prenatal testing right then chromosomal structural aberration okay this is all about the down syndrome now we have to learn about one more syndrome that is cryochat syndrome which is the example for chromosome structural aberration down syndrome is numerical aberration Cryochat syndrome is structural aberration that is it's also called cat cry syndrome cry do chat means cat cry syndrome you know such babies uh, when they cry becco meo when they kills it the cry will not be normal okay and it's also called 5p minus syndrome i'll tell you a little later why basically this 
cat cry syndrome or cry to chat syndrome is a chromosomal structural aberration okay now you can see here the chromosome number 5 okay where the short arm is deleted right so if you happen to observe the chromosome fifth chromosome of a child with crido chat syndrome the short arm of the chromosome will be deleted right therefore it is popularly called 5p minus syndrome okay you can see the deleted region then so this implies high pitched cat cry syndromic individual and 5p minus syndrome means deletion of a small portion of the gene on the small arm that is p arm of chromosome number 5 one of the deleted genes is htert gene that is human telomerase reverse transcriptase htert gene is responsible for the synthesis of the enzyme human telomerase reverse transcriptase enzyme and the lack of that enzyme will manifest in these symptoms okay then what are the symptoms microcephaly cephalic means head region micro means chick the microcephaly small you can see the normal head size of the head and you can see the head of a child with crido syndrome it has become small microcephaly okay opposite of that is megacephaly right so microcephaly is the characteristic feature of a child with a crido chat syndrome that normally developed outer ear will be in the as you see in the upper plate whereas in case of the child with crido chat syndrome the pinna that is outer ear will be abnormal in size shape and it will be rotated right you can just compare the size of the pinna shape of the pinna and placing of the pinna of a normal child and a child with crido chat syndrome okay then these are the references that lata madam has made to make this ppts and here are some questions assessment questions for you so first one is chromosome disorder arising due to change in number is answer structural aneuploidy okay c numerical aneuploidy b material material aneuploidy d substantive substantive aneuploidy and the answer is c numerical aneuploidy uh, dear students once you study the study material what have been provided in your lms and once you study uh, listen to these video lectures which have been again uploaded in another quadrant of lms and uh, once you make thorough preparations you know you have to answer these mcqs present in the assessment section okay then uh, second mcq assessment question is aneuploidy represents first answer increase or decrease in the number of chromosome then b increase in multiple sets of chromosome c deletion of some parts of chromosome d addition of some parts of chromosome and the answer is a that is increase or decrease in the number of chromosomes okay then mcq3 main cause of down syndrome is which of the following trisomy of 21st chromosome tetrasomy of 21st chromosome trisomy of 22nd chromosome tetrasomy of 22nd chromosome answer is invariably a that is trisomy of 21st chromosome then fourth question a portion of chromosome transfer to another chromosome is called a deletion or duplication or translocation or reciprocal translocation and the answer is c it is translocation then question number 5 crido chat syndrome is caused due to deletion of one arm of fifth autosome 
deletion of one arm of sixth autosome, deletion of one arm of seventh autosome, deletion of one arm of eighth autosome. Answer is in variable A that is deletion of short arm of fifth autosome. Okay. So dear students, here I have presented you five MCQs as assessment questions. You can browse and make some studies and make some more MCQs like this for more practice. My dear students, thank you for your patient learning. So today we have discussed about autosomal chromosomal aberrations and two medical cases down syndrome and credit chat syndrome thanks for your patient hearing thank you stay blessed